So you want to become great at door knocking and increase your results. Well, you've come to the right channel and the right video. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? BC here. Team Leader, Team BC here in Southern California, which we can help you with all your real estate referrals if you have them. I wanted to make a special video, whether you're in real estate or not, to help you become better at going door to door. Okay, if you don't know, quick recap in 20, 30 seconds. I got my claim to fame from door knocking and I've learned so much through door knocking and cold calling, prospecting, studying sales and communication that now I figured a few things out that I can give to you as information and tips to help you take your game to the next level. It's not always about being number one. However, if these tips can help you increase your results even 10, 20, 30%, then that's going to mean more for your bottom line and you're going to be more fulfilled. Okay. Five main things. Number one is this, and I wrote this down. We have to take our communication skills to the next level. Having the script and having it memorized is the first phase. Great. But how can we now make that script even more conversational? How can we better our delivery of that script? How can we start understanding some basics and body language and distancing? Understanding eye contact, reading subliminal signals from the person at the door that indicate if they're comfortable or uncomfortable, right? Taking it to that level. Now, if you're somebody who hasn't and you think it's all about the script and just what you say, then you have about 8% of this game or 7% of it figured out and you're missing 92 or 93%. And it's now up to you to do whatever it takes to learn that stuff. Can you learn some basics from YouTube and books? Sure. That's what I did. Then you can take it to the next level. Go to events, go to coaching, whatever. If you want to take it to that level, that's up to you. But you have to finally say, I'm going to tackle the subject of communication and take it to the next level. If you know how to communicate at a high level, you can capture anybody's attention, period. End of story. Many of you come to me simply because of that. I communicate better than the next guy. So you can actually watch my video and enjoy it and learn more because I know as an example how to simplify subjects in such a way that you get it and you understand it even if you've heard that particular subject a million times by other people. Okay, that's a skill that any of you can learn. I'm not special, okay? Communication, focus on it and do whatever it takes to learn it and master it. Number two, we now need to focus on your whole package when you door knock. Again, you could be a master linguist. However, if your whole package is off, then you're not gonna have the results that you could have. As an example, how are you dressed? Many of you will look at this jacket and say it's ridiculous. I think it's genius. Because when people see this at the door, they're not going to put me in the same box that they put everybody else in, which is salesperson, religious person. They're going to be curious enough most times to open it and either talk about it, compliment me, or say they don't like it. Any of those three, I don't care. You know why? Because they open the door and that's all I want. I want them to open the door because then the magic happens. How do you walk? If I was to be inside of somebody's house and see you walking on the street, what would I think? What would your body language and facial expressions indicate? That you're confident, that you know what you're doing, or that you're some creep in a neighborhood walking around and that you don't belong there? That's huge because people will size you up within seconds of seeing you. Are you smiling? Are you looking down? Are you looking up? Is your chest out? Do you seem relaxed when you're walking and enjoying what you're doing? Or do you seem miserable and mad at life? Because you're thinking, oh man, this next door, no, no one's going to answer. Oh man, everyone's being an asshole. You need to check that. How you walk, how you talk, the whole package. Now, there's more to it than that. I just want to bring your attention to it because that's missed and people don't talk about that. Again, 99.9% .9 of people just focus on the script. Fuck the script, okay? Because I can use any fucking script and still get results because it's about everything else, all right? Number three, we now have to take your effort level and make it massive because that's how you shorten the learning curve and climb up quicker if there's a quicker way. It's still going to take a lot of time and effort and mistakes and obstacles and all that. But we can shorten that a bit by creating massive effort. Why are we going around and knocking on five or 10 or 20 doors? Make it a hundred. I knocked on a hundred fucking doors a day when I started. No excuse. Whether I felt like shit, whether everybody was kicking my ass at the door, it didn't matter. I knocked on a hundred fucking doors every day, no matter what. What's your excuse? I've had people like Bill uh, Zeigman, Bill can correct you in the comment section because I know he follows me if I mispronounce his last name. The man is in his 70s, was in my door knocking challenge a couple months ago and hit 100 doors every single day in the summer, in the heat. And he's 70 years old. What's your excuse? And he did it. And he was getting 
great results by the end of the challenge. And it was a 30-day challenge. Can you even commit to 30 days of doing 100 doors a day? If you can't, then forget about making hundreds of thousands of dollars and being great at what you do because you're not willing to put in the effort to get there. You see, if you want a Lamborghini, you got to put in Lamborghini effort, not Ford Escort effort. Okay, nothing wrong with Ford Escort. I drove one back in the day, so I'm not hating. Massive effort. Number four, do you provide legitimate value for people? Me, as somebody who knows the market inside and out in the areas that I work, somebody who previews homes and knows the inventory, just that alone, when I knock on somebody's door, I can provide value because I know things like this. Do you? It's not about the flyer that you take or having this special reason to door knock. Forget that. That's what they who don't door knock and aren't good at it tell you. Me on this side can tell you that's all you need. Now, can you provide other things of value? Sure. You want to door knock and invite people to an open house. You have some special gift. Cool. You can do that. However, that's not a necessity. Your skill and expertise as an agent is value enough. And that's been forgotten now because it's all about the fluff and the marketing and this and that. It's bullshit. What you think? Walking around with three or four balloons attached to your jacket is going to make you special and that's the value that you bring. Maybe you're a good person to talk to and you give pleasant conversation and you're funny. That can be value too because you can brighten up people's days. How about we focus on that stuff instead of the fancy flyer that suddenly is going to get everybody to call back. Newsflash, that shit doesn't work. 99% of people throw your stuff away. Okay? So focus on bringing real value to the door. And lastly... None of this matters unless you believe that this matters and it's going to work. Otherwise, forget it. We can't walk around saying, I'm new. No one's going to take me serious. Oh my God, I haven't sold homes in this neighborhood. All that shit is irrelevant. It's mentally crippling you and you're allowing it to. And it's sad because other people feed into that behavior. Other people who have no business telling you that, tell you that and you believe it. How about you create your own story, your own empowering story? Because either one that you choose is going to be right, but it's going to affect you two different ways. One's going to lead you to failure. One's going to lead you to success. Because I had everybody and their fucking moms telling me I was going to fail in real estate. And you know what I tell them now? Look at me now. It's like the song. So all that was there and present at that time was me believing it myself. But I realize I'm the ultimate authority in my life. If there's a shareholders meeting, like I'm a stock, I'm the only one in that meeting. There isn't mom, dad, love you, mom and dad, and everyone else there. It's me. I make the final call. They can talk, but I'm like, it doesn't matter. I own 100% of the share of this stock, and it's me. You need to take that power back. Because many of you, it's 1% you, 99% everybody else. And everything about you, how you feel about yourself, how you think about yourself, and the actions you take are based on other people's criticisms and judgments and evaluations of you, which is wrong. Okay? So let's recap. Communication, step it up. Number two, be that whole package that's undeniable. Number three, massive effort. Number four, what value are you bringing? And number five, believe that all this is going to work and believe in your worth. Otherwise, you're not going to get anywhere. Okay? So that wraps up the video here. If you liked it, leave a comment below. Be sure to like the video as well. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you guys haven't heard, I have two new YouTube channels, my personal show channel and my Supreme Being podcast channel. Subscribe to those two. Also, if you're interested in working with me and my team, go to partnerwithteambc.com to check that out. And lastly, if you really want to be good at this and many other things, but especially communication and how you're functioning up here, get on my Modern Success Program. It's at briancasella.com in the description, and it will transform you from the inside out, guaranteed. Okay, that's it for this one. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.